Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing a camera stabilizer for smartphones and this is from StableCam. Here's their website right here. These guys were nice enough to um, send me out a camera stabilizer for review and I'm going to get it out of the box. This is it right here. So it also has a standard screw mount so you could use other point and shoot and GoPro style cameras as well. So let's get it out of the box, I'll show you what it looks like, and uh, yeah, then we'll get it outside and we'll do some test shots with it. All right, so here it is right here, stable cam, and it looks like a black torpedo. Uh, one thing uh, just on the bottom here, it does have a standard uh, screw mount, so you can actually attach this to a tripod if you really wanted to. Um, I'm not going to do that for this video, but it's there, so you can use it. So the way this works is on the top side here, you have all these little rubber grippy deals, and that's going to really... Um, slide onto your your phone is supposed to slide onto here just like this okay so once it's in place this thing's not going anywhere and this is iphone 6 plus um it holds the phone really securely so it's not going anywhere now the idea here is that this spreads out and then there's a gimbal right here there let me get this a little smaller so i can kind of show you get a little closer here this guy is your camera stabilizer. This is how that works. So the idea is that you kind of hold it here and then you have two fingers on the bottom. So you use your two fingers here and then these two fingers on the bottom. So that's how it's gonna really keep your shot steady. Uh, and you can use this in selfie mode, like uh, if you're vlogging or you know, you're just kind of walking around talking about stuff and you wanna just keep it all nice and steady on yourself, great way to do it. You can also flip it around Keep your two fingers there and your other two fingers here and that kind of just steadies it. So what it's designed to do is to keep your video shots nice and precise and nice and crisp uh, without shaking. Like you've, you've seen those other selfie videos where people are running with their camera and it looks like they're in an earthquake. So another cool feature about the stable cam is that you can use it upside down as well. So if you were doing this um, and you were kind of shooting along like the ground or something like that you could use this thing upside down which is really cool a lot of other camera stabilizers right side up only so that's cool so this thing also extends really far out i mean that's a long extension so if you're like filming up high and you were trying to get you know on the top of a, a, a tree limb or something like that there's a squirrel up there or you're trying to get a really good panoramic uh, photo up high it's another great way to do it it's a nice little extension here this thing all collapses right back down to itself. Phone comes out. There it is. <clears throat> now on the top here, this thing just unscrews. And there's your standard uh, screw mount. So as I said, if you're using a point and shoot camera or a GoPro or a GoPro style camera, just get a little tripod adapter and you're good to go. This little guy screws right back down in place. So I'm gonna get it on my scale. I wanna see exactly how much it weighs. Fourteen point five ounces, so it's got a pretty good, you know, substantial weight to it. But I understand that it has to have it for the counterweight because that's all down here. This is the counterweight part of it, and that's what's really going to keep the camera uh, stable while you're shooting. So around the the cap here, the hand where you hold it, there's three black rubber O-rings, and they're just designed for just for grip, really. You know, you kind of just hold it like that. So. While this thing is out, that's what you're going to grip onto, just like that. And as I said, you're going to use your other two fingers right here and right here on the bottom, and that's going to steady it. So what you want to do when you set this thing up is you want to, first off, you want to kind of set your smartphone down in there and try to center it as best as possible. You want to do a horizontal balance. So right now, obviously not balanced. So what I want to do is I want to make this a little bit further out. Because what you want here is you want total balance. So that went a little too far. Not enough. And that's almost dead on. It's still a little too far, so I'm going to go out a little bit more. Okay, so once you achieve your horizontal balance, that's pretty much it right here. Then it's basically it's set So at that length. So what you want to do is you want to get this thing upright 
and then you're gonna get your two fingers on the gimbal here, the stabilizer, and then your other two fingers go down here. So that's gonna increase this and gonna really make your shots nice and steady. So that's what you want. Let's get this thing outside. We'll do some uh, we'll do some video shots without it, and then we'll use, do some video shots with it, and you can see the difference. All right, so I'm at the park across the street from my house, and I'm just gonna show you the difference of using a stable cam compared to not using a stable cam. So I'm gonna shoot some video going up and down. I have a little playground right behind me, and then off in the far distance there, let's see, right there, there's a stage. So I'm gonna go up and down the stage steps and show you why you should definitely use a stable cam if you're walking around shooting video and the importance of getting a smoother video compared to not using a stable cam. All right, so I'm just gonna go up and down these steps right here. Let's go down the steps. All right, so that was just handheld. All right, so now I have the stable cam. Now I'm just gonna go up and down the stairs here. smoother and I'm just walking around now you got to see the difference in using something like this the downside to using something like this and especially here on the central coast is that it's always so flippin windy so you really have to stay on top of it because if I just let it go the wind blows it all over the place all right so we're gonna go up and down this stage steps here and I have the stable cam connected to my iPhone so here we go, pretty smooth transition here, just kind of give you the idea of the steps that I just went up. So let's get, let's go down these steps. Not too bad. So now I'm gonna take the stable cam off. Okay, stable cam is off. Here it is right here. We're gonna go up the steps now. Just holding it in my hand. And you can just tell the difference there. Stable cam works pretty good going down the steps. And I'm just walking normal and I'm not, I'm not stomping or anything like that. But stable cam definitely makes a good difference. One thing I really like about the stable cam that if I'm just kind of walking around with it, you know, it does pretty good. You know, this is smooth paved ground, but I'll get over to this Japanese maple over here and I'll show you the extension and why you should use it. If I extend this thing all the way, that's fully extended. And that's way up there. My height is six foot. We're gonna go all the way up to the top of this tree right here. Now we can kind of look around. Now the downside to this is that when it's fully extended, it's really hard to stabilize it. Now we're just going to walk on this grassy section here just because it's a little bit more bumpy. But pretty nice nonetheless. So a camera stabilizer is the way to go, especially if you're, you know, recording outside and you need to get some good clean shots. This is a great way to do it. It takes a little practice and a little finesse to really get this thing dialed in, but for the most part, it does a pretty good job. And as I said, I'm gonna flip it upside down, even at ground level here, just moving around. It's pretty smooth.
So one thing that I can honestly say about the stable cam is that, you know, for the most part, non-windy, it does a pretty good job. You know, this is pretty stable, nice and steady. You got to use those other two fingers though, your, you know, your ring finger and your, your pinky to really stabilize it. Because the, the stabilizer doesn't do it all on its own. But for the most part, it's okay. Now when walking around with it, I find it's a little cumbersome because the counterweight seems like it wants to move around a lot. So I have to, I'm constantly fighting it. Now I have this thing completely balanced, so I did exactly what Stablecam said, but you can just tell that the, uh, the actual just movement alone is pretty fluid, is pretty solid, and it does keep things nice and steady. Just takes a little practice and it works really good. All right, so that's my review of the Stablecam uh, cell phone and small point-and-shoot camera stabilizer. This is from Stablecam. Here's their website, once again, right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. There are a lot of cool benefits to using something like this, so it might be worth it if you are uh, shooting a lot of video with your smartphone uh, and or a small uh, point-and-shoot camera. So another cool benefit is that it does collapse. You know, I mean, it extends really far out and it collapses really small. It's about 13 inches. You could easily put this in like a backpack or something like that. Another cool thing and one of my favorite things is that the stable cam is made in America. So that's really cool. They didn't outsource it. They built it here in the States and I give them massive props for that. Uh, specifically because it's so much easier to just outsource it to China or some other company uh, to build your product. Instead, they're building it here in the United States, which is great. So if you like my review and found it informative, you want to get one of these for yourself, click on that link down in my description box below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel. So another way to help support my YouTube channel is to click on that I button right up here. When you click on that, you can donate any number of dollars and that's going to allow me to produce higher quality content to give back to you. So I really appreciate all the help, love and support you guys have shown me. So if you guys have any questions or comments about the stable cam, whether you like it, you don't like it, you think it looks weird, you think it looks great, you love that it's, Amer it's American made. Cool. Leave all those comments down in my comment section. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's this like button right here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. I would greatly appreciate it. And subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. Click on that. This way you stay up to date on the latest gear reviews that I'm working on. Another way to stay connected is to head on over to my website, which is trailermountain.com. Here's the website for that. When you go to the main page, a little pop-up is going to show up. Put in your email address, hit subscribe. This way you stay up to date on everything that I'm posting on the website as well. So, so thanks very much for tuning into my channel. I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the past couple of years. You know, you guys allow me to live my dream and my passion. So thank you so much. Without you guys, I don't have a YouTube channel. So, so thanks again. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.